Good evening. The last piece of the Harrison Square project has gotten a lot of scrutiny over the years, but now all signs point to a go for that piece, a mixed-use building called the Harrison. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us now with the latest update on this ongoing project. Well, guys, it's been in the making for years, but today, after the Redevelopment Commission gave its approval, the Harrison project will be built. It took a week to review, but the definitive agreement between the Harrison investors and Fort Wayne jumped over its final hurdle. I think that was a good thing, actually, because we were given the opportunity um, to ask questions and seek further um, clarifications from council. The commission's approval now allows the financing to close and construction to begin in the upcoming weeks. After four years plus, uh, it is um, uh, proof that patience is, is a virtue and hanging in there and even through some very tough um, times financially. A lot of different people who um, were involved in making this happen. And we think this is further evidence of the uh, worthwhile effort that's been undertaken, so we're very happy. The Commission approved the Harrison Agreement this afternoon despite a couple of concerns, one of which is the construction of a parking garage beneath the building and how tax revenue will be used. We're only talking about revenues that are generated as a result of the private sector investment. These aren't tax revenues that exist today. They're being created by the private sector investment. And if, in fact, the project were to not succeed, something we don't think is likely, those would be there in order to backstop it. What we saw today were documents and an explanation that, that assures us that, in fact, it is totally permissible by law. And uh, so, as a result, we voted today to approve the agreement. The city will not have to pay for this parking garage up front as the money will come from the investors. If down the road, however, a shortfall does occur and the city does indeed take partial ownership of the garage, Commission President Christopher Darren said it would be a small price to the city to make sure the project is completed. Okay, thank you for that update, Randy.